Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with YOLO Live, and a lot of people are really excited about what the YOLO box offers them, specifically in terms of making sure their stream gets through. So today, I've got a video just on two of the great tools available to YOLO box users called Bonding and ASP. Bonding and ASP, which is the Ardent Streaming Protocol, are two very powerful tools YOLOBOX users can use to make sure their streams get through. These tools also make use of YOLO Live's servers. So if you want to take your YOLO box, not use the YOLO Live server and stream directly to YouTube or stream directly to Facebook or stream directly to uh, your own restreaming uh, capability, that is not going to leverage the Ardent Streaming Protocol or bonding. First up, we have the Ardent Streaming Protocol. Now, what this really means is it's a buffering service and YOLO Live has a website. Let me call that up for you right here. The website tells you about the Ardent Streaming Protocol and it includes a video that explains it. But very quickly, what that means is like over here on the left, you can see that if your stream would normally have small little glitches in the stream. The Ardent Streaming Protocol has a buffer so that those small glitches in the buffer, those tiny little moments where the, the packets might be lost, those are covered over through the buffering. Your YOLO box is going to be what you use to cut your cameras, do your graphics and everything else. And in your YOLO box, you're both going to capture and it's going to buffer. Now with the Ardent Streaming Protocol right now, what it does is it uses your storage to create a buffer. It could be a minute long buffer of your content while also sending it to the YOLO Live servers over here for delivery to wherever you want it to go. Now, this is where the magic happens right here, this delivery, so that if you were to have a break in your connection, what's going to happen is you've got this minute long buffer over here and it's going to continue to play out of the buffer, continue to play out of the buffer. And then when the data can resume sending, it's going to fill that buffer back up. So the stream going to your destinations never gets interrupted. You have this buffer and while it's while that break is going on, the buffer on this side is filling up, filling up, filling up, filling up until that connection is resumed. Now, that could be through any reason, like your Ethernet cable gets uh, popped out of the socket or you're on a cellular connection. And for those three seconds, those five seconds, there's just too much going on on that cell tower and data is not able to make it across. Well, that's going to play out of the buffer on the other end. And then when after those five seconds are done, then it's able to resume sending. It's going to fill that buffer back up. That's where the Ardent Streaming Protocol really comes into play. Even with a single connection, you're not using buff, you're not using bonding right now. Even with a single connection, the Ardent Streaming Protocol or ASP is going to make sure that your data is able to overcome any momentary glitches in the system. Another key benefit of the Ardent Streaming Protocol means you can now choose a higher quality and a higher bit rate that might normally, under tough circumstances, not be reliable. Now, because you're using the Ardent Streaming Protocol, you're able to use a higher quality video signal and a higher quality data rate, which gives your audience a better experience. And a better experience is what we are trying to give when we use the YOLO box because it gives us these great polished tools at our fingertips to deliver great programming to our viewers. Now, you may be wondering, how do I set up ASP? Let me show you. The first thing you need to make sure is that you have the right plan. ASP is part of YOLOcast. And right here on the website, they show you there are four different plans available. The starter, professional, business, and if you own YOLO box hardware, you get everything in the business plan, which is right here for just $29. So we're going to scroll down, do, 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 do. And what we're looking for is the Ardent Streaming Protocol. And you see right here, it's in the business plan and it's over here for $29 if you own YOLO box hardware. So that's the first thing. You need to make sure that you are subscribed to the correct plan. If you have YOLO box hardware, $29 a month and you're good to go. 
Next thing is you're going to go to create either a live event online or you could do it on the Yolo box itself. I'll show you both. Right here online, we're going to say create an event. And right here at the top, you see where it says Yolo box Pro with ASP. And that's what you're going to pick. And right here, it's going to explain that this is the process is going to be 60 to 90 seconds of extra delay. Remember, because you're creating that buffer so that if you have a problem that's going to take a few seconds to recover, you don't have to worry about it because you've got that buffer at both ends. And that's how you're going to establish your event with ASP using YOLOcast online. Now let's take a look at how to do it on the YOLObox Pro. On the Yolo Box Pro, you're going to need to create a Yolo cast event, and that's going to happen at the very start of the process. Here you can see I have got standard events, and on the right there, I've got Yolo cast events. I'm going to click on the Yolo cast events. That page is going to load, and this is where I create my Yolo cast event on the Yolo Box Pro. So I'm going to hit that little plus right there, that's the big white area. So I'm going to hit this white spot right here. It's a plus, and then that's going to take me right here to create my YOLOcast event on the YOLO box. You can see where it says I can stream with RTMP or stream with ASP. I'm going to click on that, and right there it gives you the same 60 to 90 second of extra second delay. And then you're just going to go through the rest of this and create your event like you would with any other event but because you've selected ASP, you're going to have additional delay that's going to protect you in case of variable data rates or any glitches between you and the internet. So here's my event right here. And as you can see right here, it actually indicates that it has ASP right here in the thumbnail. It's scheduled and it has ASP. This event down here has ASP, this event did not. So you can clearly see what does and what doesn't utilize ASP in your YOLOcast events. And that's it. You just check using ASP when you create the event and then the YOLO box hardware and the server do the rest of the work. You can select your frame rate and data rate just as you would normally do like with any other event. But now you have the confidence of knowing that should the data rate bottom out for 10, 15 seconds, your viewers are not going to see any hesitation in the delivery of their program, which means you could potentially increase your data rate. You could um, deliver a better signal. Instead of doing 720p, you could try 1080p because you have that extra ASP providing security in the background. The other really useful tool that's now available to Yolo Box users, Yolo Box Pro and Yolo Box Mini, is bonding. And bonding is where you take multiple connections and you put them together in the one big fat connection. In fact, I just explained this in another video. Let me show you that. What this means is that any trouble that might happen with one of your connections, like your internal cellular not getting enough data at a big soccer game with lots of people, the Yolo box is able to shift to using the other connections and your stream continues to go through. Now, bonding relies on a dedicated server receiving these packets of video that may arrive out of order from across your three connections. The uh, debonding server, as I call it, puts the packets back in the order that you sent them and then sends them to your intended destination, just like YouTube or Facebook. Currently, YOLO Live has servers deployed in North America, servers in Japan and Korea for those in East Asia, servers in Frankfurt for those in Europe, and servers in Thailand and Singapore for those in Southeast Asia. Neighboring continents can still access this feature, however, they can't guarantee its effectiveness in all areas. Now, it's important to note that the physical debonding servers, the hardware, the power, the cooling, the maintenance, etc. All of this has a cost, but because Yola Live's network bonding is currently in beta, it is currently free to use. It will have a fee when it is officially rolled out and all the details are finalized. So give it a try and see how well bonding works for you.
So there you have it. Now you understand what bonding is. Let me show you how you do it. I have a YOLO box mini right here. And as you can see, I've got a show queued up here, but you want to come over here to the device settings, come over here to your network settings. And down here, like you can see, I've got network and internet. It shows I'm hooked up to the Wi-Fi. And if I come in here, you'll see Ethernet, there's nothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in this Ethernet cable right into the top here so that I'm actually going to have two connections to the Internet. Give that a second. Click on there. Now you can see Ethernet is on. It's got an IP address. Come back out. I don't currently have a SIM card in here, but the bonding allows you to connect across all three connections, your Wi-Fi connection, your Ethernet connection, and your cellular connection. So now we're going to come down here to our network aggregation. We're going to come down here. It says it's closed, and that is because it is off. We're going to turn this on. And that's it. And it tells you that YOLO Live wants to set up a VPN connection, which is basically going to take all of these things and combine them into one pipe. I'm going to say on. Come back out here. It says that network aggregation is opened. And we are going to go back into our live show. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come over here, set your streaming mode to use the Yololize multi streaming service. Going to come out. And then we're going to set our destinations. Done. And then I have a group for testing. It's my scratch pad. Done. There they are. And let's go to my audio. Yes, I know audio quality is on. I'm going to turn that off. And now I've got this set up and ready to stream. We are going to say go live. Done. And now I am streaming out using a bonded connection across Ethernet and across Wi-Fi. And what that means is if all of a sudden I were to lose my Ethernet connection, my stream continues to go. As you can see, it did not do anything up here. And if I put that back in, I'm still streaming. As the video explained, the loss of any one of those multiple connections doesn't mean your stream drops. What it means is the system is going to lean on one or the other ones to make sure that your data gets through. And that is just another example of how the YOLO box makes live streaming easy and reliable. My name is Anthony Barocas for YOLO Live. Thanks for watching.